My name is Iba Jai. I am your Jatigi, your host in Mali. Facing these commemorative monuments, the Martyrs Monument, I feel as if I'm standing on ground zero of contemporary Malian history. The monument itself represents the spirit of sacrifice that has always inspired Malians to fight tyranny and economic chaos at the risk of death. And hundreds of Malians Young students and scholars, working women and day laborers did die in the heroic struggle which culminated in the fall of the Second Republic military dictatorship on March 26, 1991. Located in the center of West Africa, modern Mali is the size of Texas and California combined. Mali is the site of early Saharan civilizations, as well as three major empires spanning from the 8th to the 16th century. Wagadu, also known as Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. Mali, land of peace, land of hospitality, land of gold, Mali. Land of resistance to colonial invasion, land of early urban development, a genuine mosaic of cultures, Mali. Stretching from the edges of the Guinean forest to the sand hills of the Sahara Desert. Timbuktu is in Mali, although many people think it is an imaginary place at the end of the earth. It was an important center of commerce and learning in the Middle Ages. It was much coveted by the rich, famous, and powerful leaders of the time. So. Malians learned to hide it from the looting of invading forces. In 1883, the French conquered this area and called it French Sudan. It remained a far-flung outpost until political independence was achieved in 1960 under the leadership of President Modibo Keita. My city is called Bamako. It is the capital city of Mali. Bamako was named after crocodiles that live in the Joliba Niger River and six local tributaries. The coming together as this spot of seven waterways was perceived as a sign of many blessings to come for its founder. In the Bamanankan language, Bama means crocodile and Ka means river or creek. People come to Bamako in search of a better life. Because of the French colonial legacy of centralized administration, this capital has a heavy concentration of businesses, high-level government jobs, colleges, institutes, and cultural centers. Today, Bamako is a bustling city of just over one million inhabitants. Above all, Bamako is a big market where people come to buy and sell, to bargain, and to nurture business times.
That is why traffic moves the way it does, from the bridge to the market center, where people from all walks of life converge, gather for varying lengths of time to buy groceries, shop for luxury items, meet relatives and friends, or just stroll. The Central Market is the most visible site of the trade culture ingrained in Malian history. It is also the most vibrant image of the social makeup of Mali. The wealthy and the modest of means all meet here in the market. Malian citizens travel all over the world and engage in all types of occupation. But trade remains the occupation that links ordinary people here, in the middle of the market, on the side of the road, with the rest of the world. The traditional way of life that persists in Bamako represents a strain of cultural preservation that is often blamed for a resistance to modernity in foreign eyes. However, Mali is a society that has often surprised skeptics. Its success since 1992 in establishing a functioning democracy after three decades of one-party dictatorship, extreme poverty, and social unrest attests to the strength of the inner core of this diverse yet stable society. Amidu. <laughs> Abi hagli jigi vali la dozo do dozo karam gordo vali bi se kula since the 1996-97 general elections there is a conviction across the world that Mali has pulled one of the most inspiring transformations of its political and economic institutions On March 27, 1996, the international community joined the Malian government and the leaders of the Tuareg and Berberi rebellions to celebrate the flame of peace in historic Timbuktu, always the crossroads of the many cultures of Mali. Mali's social experience of Sinankuya is the enabling factor in the stability of the country. For almost 800 years, Malians and their allies have considered themselves members of the same large family or nation. Emperor Sunjata Keita first codified social relations and organized Old Mali as a constitutional monarchy in 1236. The social practice of Sinankuya 
ensures peaceful coexistence within this family across diverse communities, as well as the intermingling of cultures and intermarriage. The next struggle for Mali would unfold primarily at the economic level. Mali's ability to develop the diverse economic opportunities that each region offers will be crucial in generating a balanced economic system. The potential is here, in this city and the rest of the country. Already, Mali is the second largest producer of cotton in Africa after Egypt. Nevertheless, the large agricultural sector remains underexploited. Mali displays a unique cultural mosaic and a distinctly rich art scene, including historic landmarks and cultural sites, art and artisanal products, literature, cinema, and clothing. Malian clothing and textile design is traded in America, Asia, and Europe by people who may never have heard of Mali. The art of bogolan, also known as mudcloth, was introduced to the world of high fashion by designer Chris Sedu. In Mali, the group Bogolan Kasubani ranks as the best ambassador of the art form, having expanded its application to interior design and painting. Malian music is renowned throughout the world with superstars like Ali Farka Touré, Umu Sangare, and Salif Keita. These sectors hold the potential to bring huge revenues to the country. The booming gold mining sector is already doing so and gets the most international investment. 
The market for Malian cultural products is largely untapped. With the current project of regional integration, the first part of the 21st century should be a period of rapid change. Given its mercantile tradition, Mali will play a pivotal role in the trade network across the region, especially through its emigrant population. With two to three million of a total population of 10 million living outside of Mali, in West Africa and in the rest of the world, Mali's domestic economy and politics are heavily influenced by immigration. Through expatriates like NASA scientist Sheikh Modi Bojara, author and university professor Manja Jawara, designer Chris Sedu, musical stars like Salif Keita, the diaspora brings attention to modern Mali as an old as well as emerging society with its specific cultural and national identity. Coming to Mali, you will feel both the awesome burden and the inspiring grace of such a presence of the past, now beckoning to an even brighter future. May we have the blessing of meeting soon here, in the beautiful land of Mali.